Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigologram here and today we are going to do a League Store Guide and yes I know I have done a League Store Guide, it was actually my third video if I'm not mistaken on YouTube and it was done a long time ago and I want to redo this because uh, first of all uh, I uh, have a little bit of a more quality format now and secondly I did miss... Uh, uh, judge a character in the first one and yes I'm talking about Red Hood in the first one I have said Red Hood is totally useless and uh, yeah that, that, that was the wrong assumption as uh, you have maybe seen in the gameplay that I do and Red Hood has definitely a place in your buy order so today we are going to go tr together through all the uh, League Store characters and uh, talk about a little bit of a buy order that you could follow uh, for yourself when making your League purchases in order to get the most optimal progress in the game because the League Store is a very very important place in the game where you are going to get your best damage dealer that you're going to have for a very long time or maybe forever. So yeah, with all that, that being said, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, dislike it if you dislike it and let's get into it. So this is going to be the league store, you will be able to buy characters from here with the league medals and at the same time you'll be able to buy their gears and the XP capsules. Uh, from the other place. Well, I uh, su I suggest you go for XP capsules only when you have unlocked uh, all or close to unlocking all the characters. Now, going back to the characters, you're going to have a very, uh, not a very big selection of characters, but a very important selection of characters because some of those characters uh, are going to be good. So yeah, yet again, this is a 5 months old account and let's take a look at what I've gotten so far over here. So, over here I have gotten uh, quite a few things from the League Store and obviously the first thing that you want to begin uh, getting from the League Store and this will be your very first purchase should be King of Land Sakomen. When you start an account you should focus yourself on getting King of Land Sakomen to 3 stars as soon as possible. And you're not going to need to unlock him because of the fact that his special tree is going to have a percentage damage dealt. So it says a 10% health reduction, it's going to basically deal 10% of the enemy's current health uh, in one hit. What does that mean? Well, uh, even for a build, King's Land Sakomen is going to be yet again an amazing ability, but if your King's Land Sakomen is going to be level 1, it's going to be gearless, it's going to uh, not have any points into this, it's going to be 3 stars, this thing, if used properly, will still get your damage uh, maybe all the way to 2 million damage in rates, only by having that, because of the percent damage it's a percentage damage this only scales with how much health the boss is going to have not with how much your can plant sacrament is built so while this is a very good character while being built for a beginner this will be an amazing character just from the get-go you just buy him you just put him in a team and you start using him and your first priority should be unlocking can plant sacrament to three stars and getting his gears after you get him to 3 stars and get his gears, we are going to move over to another character, but don't worry, we'll come back to this guy very shortly, but there's something we need to pick along the way because that will also help us a lot. You'll need to get your power girl all the way to 4 stars. And you're going to be like, why power girl all the way to 4 stars? Are you kidding me? Kim Flan Sakura is going to be so good. Yes! But as I have said previously, uh, King Flan Sakomen is going to be good even at 3 stars for that percentage damage on the special tree. And most likely until uh, you get your power girl to 4 stars, there's not going to be a very significant improvement in terms of, of your King Flan Sakomen. And getting him to 5 stars uh, or 4 stars in the meantime would not make a huge difference. And you should go in that time and unlock power girl from the league store and after you unlock her, buy her gears and get her all the way to 4 stars. For now the 4 stars is going to be the sweet spot for her because at 4 stars her passive is going to reduce the energy that uh, your team is going to require to do special attacks by 2. So that's going to be an amazing buff that is going to be required by many teams like Black Adam team, Silver Banshee team, King of Land Sakomen team. And uh, yes, Dr. Fate has the exact same passive but maybe until this point you haven't gotten your Dr. Fate to 4 stars and even if you have you should have all both of them in the roster because they are one of the, they are actually the most versatile support characters in the entire game. Like you could put Power Girl literally in any team as a support character and you could not go wrong with that. So yeah, definitely get Power Girl to 4 stars, but stop there because at 4 stars you will get the minus 2 power bars and that's where we stop for now. Upgrading her passive to level 5 will only increase that other passive which we are not interested in right now. After you get your Power Girl to 4 stars you are going to move back into King of Land Sakomen. 
and get him all the way to 6 stars because this guy is going to be your main damage dealer and as I have said, even not build he will service you very well but you should eventually start and build him. So yeah, the second priority is getting your Kelflan Sakomen all the way to 6 stars because trust me, this is the best investment you can get from the League Store because uh, uh, other characters that will go uh, into further... Uh, two of them are going to be uh, great in raids, but they do require a specific team. Kimflan Sakomen requires only himself and the power reduction character. Like, if you have Shazam, that's great. If you have something else, that, that's decent. But uh, Kimflan Sakomen is going to be a one-man army, and for a very long time, and maybe forever in some people's cases, this is going to be your best damage dealer that you can get from the League Store uh, easily, and you are going to need to get him all the way to 6 stars in order to maximize your damage in raids. So yeah, so far, get King of Flying Sakomen to 3 stars, get Power Girl to 4 stars, go back to King of Flying Sakomen and get him to 6 stars. And then uh, you might be wondering, I have done both of those things, what do I do now? Well, that's a good question because, question, because we have 3 other characters that we have not looked so far at and we have not uh, unlocked. So yeah, let's go over each one of them. By the way, for the record, I got Reverse the Flash from Raydrops, I haven't uh, really worked on unlocking him myself. But now I'm starting to work on. So, Reverse the Flash is going to have a passive that's called Reverse Time. I don't have Max because I don't use him that often, though I think I should uh, for the sake of it. Uh, so yeah, uh, he has a passive that's called Reverse Time, which uh, makes him have a chance to swap the energy with the enemy. This usually works in your favor and you can learn to use this in your favor, but uh, an even more important thing about him maybe is going to be the fact that he has 3 fast tech hits. So yet again, for those unfamiliar, this is how it works. You're going to have a fast attack chance. This is your chance to trigger a fast attack. When you trigger a fast attack, you're going to deal damage equal to the amount of fast attack hits that you have. So when he triggers a fast attack, you will hit three times instead of two times. And at the same time, inflict triple damage and uh, count three times towards the combo uh, meter. So that makes him a great combo builder. And the... Uh, ability uh, this one the passive ability is going to help him a lot with that because what you do is uh, you keep him in the fight until you build up combo you tag in your damage dealer and do a special attack after you do a special attack with your damage dealer you are going to have no power and the opponent is most likely going to be almost full power and then you tag in reverse of flash and uh, steal the power from the opponent so this is going to be pretty much reverse of flash let's take a look at all the other three characters and then i'll tell you uh, which one to pick because it's not an easy choice over here you have uh, uh, so, some thinking to do about it and it depends a little bit on your roster. The other choice is going to be Red Hood. Looking at his abilities, nothing impressive and honestly this character does absolutely nothing but one thing. And one thing he does well. He has a passive that's going to extend the duration of the fight. So you use this and the fight is going to uh, uh, be increased by 25 seconds. You do this by using the super move and at the same time you will get some resistance for your team. So th that's also pretty good. Uh, a side note, uh, if you have a second all blades that will be great because a second all, uh, an all blades, even level 1 all blades will decrease the cost of his super move and you can do this for very cheap. Unfortunate enough to have it, you might not have it. But what is he used for? Well in theory you could use him in any team to extend the duration of the battle but uh, the other teams, most of the teams have more optimal characters to be in them except for one. There is only one team in the entire game that will love Red Hood and will definitely benefit from Red Hood. And that's going to be Multiverse Team, the Multiverse Team that's going to hit Captain Cold, being Multiverse The Flash and Multiverse Summer Supergirl. They are going to be uh, uh, one of the best teams uh, against Captain Cold, actually the best team I think when it comes to hitting Captain Cold. And they are going to have a best support character being Red Hood. So should you consider buying Red Hood? Yes for the purpose of uh, getting the multiverse team, but uh, we'll, we'll get into the bio order later, uh, later, I'm getting ahead of myself. We have one more character to talk about, and then I'll talk about the buy order in terms of those characters. Over here we're going to have Atrocitus. He's got some decent abilities, I guess uh, you won't see the third one because he's not unlocked on this account, but uh, the first one is going to be a, dot, uh, a hazard dot damage, and the other one is going to be a hazard dot damage that follows the enemy. And the passive is going to give you one of three random effects. A shield, that, that's pretty decent. A little chance boost, that's pretty decent yet again. And stealing power bars, that's amazing. 
So this is going to be a passive that uh, kind of same with uh, Power Girl will work with every team and will benefit every team. But unlike Power Girl, it's going to be, in my opinion, and in general, a lesser passive. Because the effect is random and sometimes you will not benefit in it and in some certain situations. And while you could put this guy in any team, there is literally no team in the entire game that has to have him. While he is a good put uh, in any team, well, like any team, if you're missing a character, support character in a team, just stick a trust in there and you'll be fine. But no team has him as a must-have character. So, now that we have talked about all of them, what would be the best buy order for them? Well, it depends. So, Reverse the Flash is going to be used as a combo builder for Silver Banshee if you don't have Predator Batman. So, if you do have Predator Batman uh, or you really want to use Reverse the Flash as the combo builder for Silver Banshee, then you should definitely go for Reverse the Flash. If you have uh, the Multiverse team and you want to maximize the performance, you should go for uh, Red Hood. And if you don't have uh, either of them, you could go for Atrocitus, though I still uh, uh, recommend choosing Reverse the Flash over Atrocitus, because I, as I have said, Atrocitus is a great character, a fun to use character, but not a character that you will eventually need. So he's not a priority. So until what point you're going uh, to have them? So let, let's recap a little bit. At this point, you know, when you are making this decision uh, of which one to pick, you're going to have Kim Flan Sakomen to 6 stars, you're going to have Power Girl to 4 stars, and that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, and uh, yeah, th there's one more character that I forgot to actually talk about, uh, and I'm glad I did remember this one, because it would have been a shame to miss it. But I didn't talk about him for a reason, the third one is going to be John Stewart Green Lantern. So John Stewart Green Lantern is going to be a character that will actually uh, be also in the Arena Store, and uh, he will be a pretty well rounded character, he will be a character that will have uh, solid shots, uh, an armor piercing ability, some uh, hazard uh, dot damage over here, and uh, his passive is going to be very good because it will negate the secondary effects of hazards. Uh, more specifically, it will negate the power drain that you sustain from the hazards in phase 3, so you can uh, just have him in a team and uh, sit in the left corner. He will decrease the hazards and hazard dot damage received by our team, so that's very good, and it will increase the attack of uh, Green Lantern teammates. Why did I not mention him and did not even put him in the buy order? Because he's going to be in the arena store. And the arena store state right now is a very sorry state and you don't have many choices. So John Stewart Green Lantern should be most likely your first choice from over there and you should uh, get him all the way from 0 to 6 stars from there and not get him from the league store. Because of the fact that uh, from the arena store you are going to uh, uh, only be able to buy characters and their gears. If you have excess arena medals there's nothing else to dump them on. But when it comes to the League Store, you are going to have uh, the uh, XP capsules to buy if you unlock all the characters. So there's something to spend your Arena Medals, uh, your League Credits, excuse me, even if you unlock all the characters, first of all. And secondly, there are so many great characters in the League Store and so few good characters in the Arena Store that John Stewart Green Lantern is definitely going to go into the Arena Store buy section. So don't get John Stewart Green Lantern from the League Store, get him from the Arena Store as a first buy, most likely. So yeah, now that we got uh, all that out of the way, uh, what do I recommend after getting uh, Kim Flan's Sakomen to 6 stars and Power Girl to 4 stars? Well, if you are using the Multiverse team and you really want to uh, perfect yourself into that, get Red Hood to 5 stars, because at 5 stars you will have the maximum duration of his passive uh, and that's pretty much all you need. If you don't use the Multiverse team but you plan on using Silver Banshee, get uh, Reverse the Flash to 5 or 6 stars. Because at that point he will be he will be able to be built tanky enough to be able to be an efficient combo builder and at the same time not die. And the third option is going to be uh, like getting Atrocitus. Uh, I don't really may recommend uh, rushing towards the Trustus because he's one of the more expensive ones, like he's 200, also it's Red Hood, but Red Hood has a purpose. A Trustus is a well-rounded character that does not really have a purpose, so in my opinion, he should be less the la left the last in terms of power, not because he's bad, but because he's not necessary. Uh, so it, it's up to you which one of them you focus on and after you get one at 5 stars you should probably get the other at 5 stars and then uh, after you get both of them at 5 stars you are going to end up with a 6 star Kim Flan Sakomen, 4 star Power Girl, 5 star Reverse the Flash and 5 star Red Hood and from that point it's up to you whatever you want to get to 6 star first. It doesn't really matter, it's really preferential. I would recommend getting Red Hood to, to 5 stars because you don't really get much benefit from that and you're eventually going to max him from Red Drops over 
over time, so yeah, don't, don't bother getting Red Hood to 5 stars, but uh, Reversal Flash or Power Girl to... Uh, uh, six star to six stars are going to be good. And excuse me, don't bother getting uh, uh, Red Hood to six stars. At five stars, he gets the uh, added bonus from passive. I'm sorry, I'm very tired right now. Uh, so after you got all of those, you have the option of going into Atro Atrocitus, getting him all the way to five stars. You have the option of um, getting Reverse of Flash to six stars or Power Girl to six stars. And at this point, it's up to you. Like the most important things are uh, getting your Confluence Aquaman to three and then to six stars, getting Power Girl to four stars. Uh, picking between Reverse of Flash and Red Hood and then getting the other and uh, at that point you can do whatever you want, it's up to you, you got a good start from the Arena Store and after that go wild on those uh, XP capsules. So yeah, this was it for this one, thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed this video I would really appreciate your support, so hit that like button, hit that comment button, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.